Hello everyone, I am Arvind Kumar Sharma and welcome back to Pabli. So today I am going to tell you how you can create WordPress post from Airtable automatically. Now the use case is very simple. Whenever a new row will be created with the details in Airtable, an automatic post will be created on WordPress. Now the process we are going to follow in our video will be. First, we are going to create a new row with the details. Now, based on those details, a new WordPress post will be created automatically. Now, to do this, we are going to use an integration and automation software service, Pavli Connect, which will help us create an automation workflow between Airtable and WordPress. Now, if you want to learn how to do this automation, you have to come with me to the screen. And now we are here at our screen. So what we have to do? We have to go to the address bar, type in pebbly.com slash connect. And as soon as we will do that, we will be redirected to this beautiful web page where you have two options. First one is sign in. Second one is sign up. So if you do not have an account here, what you can do is you can go for sign up and signing up is absolutely free you will also get 100 free tasks from our side every month. Okay. Now, I already have an account here. So I'll just go for sign in. And here I am going to click on access now for Pavli Connect. And now we have to create a new workflow for this automation. So to create a new workflow, we have to go here and click on create workflow. Now what are we doing? We are integrating our Airtable to WordPress. So whenever a new data is inserted into the Airtable, a new post will be created into the WordPress. Okay, so create it. And as you can see, we have two windows here. First one is trigger, second one is action. So trigger window is the window where the event at the start of the process happens. And action window is the final event which is happening at the end of the process. Okay, so here trigger is when this is happening, action is do this. So what is happening here? A new record has been, sorry, a new record is been created on Airtable. So we'll just connect it. Select existing connection. Let me delete this one and let me show you how to connect the Airtable. We will go here. It is asking you for the token key. So you will go here in your air table. And I have already made this once. Let me delete this for you so that I can make it once more and show you how it's done. So you can see. Let me delete this also. And now I will show you how it is connected. First, we will go here in account. And from here, we are going to copy this. Okay, so this is your API key. We will go here, paste it and save. And if you have any confusions or any problems with the steps, you can go here and, you know, uh, read it and follow the instructions. Save. Now <clears throat> here, what you have to do is you have to select your base, then your table, then your trigger field. So what is base? Base is this. These are the bases here. We are going to select the base WordPress. So this is the base WordPress. We will select here WordPress. Okay. And when we will select WordPress, it will automatically take the table post. This is the table name post. Okay. Now, what is trigger field? Now trigger field is a field which we will have to create in air table. And because of that only your trigger will work properly. If you will not create a field in your Airtable database, the trigger will not work properly and the data will not be captured. Okay. So how to create the field? These are the instructions. You can read them and I'm just going to show you how it's done. So we will go here. We will click on plus now field name. Automation field here. We will select created time. Okay. Create field and now automation field has been created. We will go back here and you can see nothing has been selected here. 
but as soon as we will refresh it you will see an automation field which has been created will come here automatically now when we will click on save and send test request you can see the response is nothing why because we do not have anything here okay now what we are going to do we are going to put a title here automation now content i already have a content here which i have written let me just copy this and paste it here okay so this is the content and now it is asking me for the attachments i have uh, created an attachment uh, field here uh, not field I, i would not say field i would say the field type which is attachment here so here we need a new file and i am going to choose a file from my desktop which is this one i will just click on this and upload and as i'll do that you can see the file has been uploaded here and this is the created field okay now i will click on save and send test request and as you can see i have these fields here and the data has been filled and i have everything you can see this is the thumbnail url thumbnail etc 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 uh, we have all the informations here this is the title this is the uh, what should i say this is the field content and here we have the field attachment url okay now we have to create a new post now this is the part where action comes in so we will select wordpress here <coughs> here either you can create a post or you can create a page or you can create a tag create a user create a comment there are so many uh, options you have here but i am going to create a post so i'll just go on create a post and i will connect it i will delete this one and uh, now i will show you how to add a new connection so we will go to add new connection now here this is my wordpress website okay and here i have to use my username and email here i have to use my password and here i have to use my base url so what is base url you can see here enter your full publicly accessible wordpress url with leading http do not include slash wp admin or wp login php so we will copy from here till here copy this and we will paste it here okay <coughs> now i am going to pause this video for a second because i do not want to show you my wordpress id and password so i'll just pause it and i'll be back in a now as you can see i have uh, connected it now i'll save it and as soon as i will save it you will see my wordpress account will be connected to my pavli connect account and it is taking some time it happens while it is taking some time let me tell you that uh, if you do not understand how to do this we have given every information here you can just go and read about it so what i am going to do is i am going to use a fee uh, a technique which is called mapping here which will let me take the data from this window and will let me put here in these fields in this window okay so post content it is asking me for the post content post content was this fields content so i'm just going gonna map this now it is asking me for the title so title was automation let me go and see where is the title so this is the title automation now we do not have to fill in anything in excerpt status categories okay <clears throat> i want to fill one more thing here let me just go here and as you can see where is it okay so this is my field content and after that i just want to press enter and i want to also put the image url here because i have used an image 
and I have uploaded an image in my Airtable section. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this tag here. And now I will map in the image URL, which is this one field attachment URL. Okay. <clears throat> and then I will close the bracket. So as you can see, I have successfully, uh, you know, uh, put the post content here. Also the image URL. Okay. Now this is the title. This is the content. Now we are going to just save and send test request. And as soon as we will do that WordPress takes some time. So it is okay. It is completely all right to do that because we are using it for many purposes and it has so many plugins and so many, you know, functions working behind it. You can see the ID has been created, which is five, four, seven, double zero. And this is the published post. Now I will go to WordPress and then I will click on post and then I will click on all posts. And as you can see, I have created a new post here automation. You can see the time also. And this is the automation. This is in this era of transformation. And this is the uh, what should I say image? Okay. Now let me do one more for you. Let me give it the name. Digital marketing. I'll just write a short description. Digital marketing is a smart and easy way. To increase your online business as well as offline customer base. Okay. Now here I'm going to attach one more file. I must have, okay, so this is the one I'll just upload it. <coughs> and as soon as I will upload it, you can see the file has been uploaded and when I will click here, it will automatically be saved. And you can see here, I have a new automation field created automatically. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go back here and I will refresh my WordPress. And when I will go back to posts, you can see I will be having a new entry here. And as you can see here, it is digital marketing. So you can see digital marketing is here and uh, let's see digital marketing. Digital marketing is a smart and easy way to increase your online business as well as offline customer base. <coughs> and this is the image which I used. Okay. So this is how you can connect your, wait a minute, let me go to workflows. So this is how you can connect your air table to your WordPress. And whenever a new record is created into your air table, a new post will be created on your WordPress. So, if you loved this amazing workflow and if you understood it and if you want to copy it, you can just go into the description box and clone it from my description box into your account. But to clone it, you need to have an account and for that you have to go and sign up. Signing up is absolutely free and it will also give you 100 free tasks from our side. So what are you waiting for? Now go and sign up. So thanks a lot for watching our video. I hope you understood everything. If you want any other event to be added in our module, you can just mail at admin at the rate pebbly .com. Apart from that, if you have any queries, you can just go on to this forum and ask about your queries. And if you want to check the pricing of the software, you can go on here and check the pricing of the software. I hope you understood everything and you loved every bit of our video. So keep loving, keep subscribing. Thank you.